you've watched Squid Game, now let's have a chat about the music and show you how you can write in that style. Hi, I'm Ewan and welcome to Ewan Smith Music. If this is your first time here, then please don't hesitate to hit the like button down below as well. Click subscribe so that you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Excitingly on this channel, the community tab is now live and I have now been posting to be able to make sure that you are caught up with everything that goes on, not just on the channel, but also behind the scenes as well. So that's even more a reason for you to subscribe. Make sure that you hit subscribe as well as like and the bell notification so that you don't miss a beat. I'd like to thank Switcher Studio for sponsoring this video. Switcher Studio is a multi-view live streaming platform which is completely mobile based and here's some information about them. Switcher Studio you can use all of your existing iOS devices and cast your computer screen all in one production. Create professional slick live streams and record and edit video with just one tap. Create amazing overlays, lower thirds, sound clips, titles and even import existing video to your stream and trigger them from the comfort of your hands. Edit and display multi-view panels for up to 9 iOS devices whilst you stream and automate the switching of these to give you hands-free control of your productions. Invite up to 4 friends anywhere in the world to join your live stream and have them in your production as if they were in the same room. Stream in crisp 1080p and have studio quality sound. I've used the app to make all of the YouTube videos on my channel, so I absolutely love it and I know that you will too. So if you fancy giving Switcher Studio a try, then why don't you use the links below. Use the code UN30 and then go to the link bit.ly slash get Switcher Studio to be able to have a free 30 day trial. So go on, have a go. I've also got free tips and training over at my group Mobile Live Streaming Success on Facebook. It'd be great to see you there. Once again, I want to thank Switcher Studio for sponsoring this video and now it's important that we get on and have a look at the music. Music. You've probably seen Squid Game or if you haven't seen Squid Game you've perhaps heard all about it. It's definitely not a child friendly program. It's a series on Netflix which is the most, at the time of recording, the most popular program series ever watched on Netflix and it's taken the world by storm. Now the music is written by South Korean composer Jung Jae Il. So this composer has done a lot of really interesting music and I will explore three of the styles that he used in Squid Game. The ones that stood out to me were way back then and also Pink Soldiers and I Remember My Name. So if you want to go and check this playlist out on Spotify then I will go to drop the link to the Spotify playlist down in the description below. Okay so I've got three ideas that I've mocked up in Logic using a variety of different sound libraries, some Spitfire ones and some East West ones as well. So here is the first example. So I've got hammers and a recorder sound, some kettle drums and also some unusual vocal sounds as well. And this was for me the, the childlike theme, the very first theme, the way back then. A lot of the music in this program I found to be very much structured around time, the slowing of time, the passage of time, the kind of military style walking to time, processing in time. So this one's quite interesting because a very, very childlike recorders was a really interesting instrumental choice because it reminds you of that childhood going back to the simple times most of us perhaps started with the recorder childhood freedom but with a sense of control as well so the next theme that i want to have a look at is one that really stuck in my mind from watching the series and that is the music used whenever you see the pink soldiers <laughs> The sense of ominous, but also this sort of weird, awkward, military style, metronomic, one foot in front of the other, because there are scenes in the Squid Game which involve a lot of procession, and it's very much about how the pink soldiers exert their control over the participants of the game. My version of the pink soldiers music which used Eric Whitaker choir and also some East to West choir sounds as well. Almost tonal, but slightly atonal, hocketing style, so echoing each other, lots of voices, 
sort of bouncing off each other with that strict metronome in the background. You'll feel that I didn't quite quantize everything and that was deliberate because there's almost a polyrhythm going over in the actual series and you'll be able to hear that from the Spotify playlist that I've linked below. The third theme that I was talking about was I Remember My Name because the whole theme of Squid Game is that no one has a name, they all are given a number. The idea of being free with your thoughts but not free with your thoughts and I really found that interesting. So here was my take on Remember My Name. to give any spoilers away from the series at all. It's quite a layered series. On one hand, there's a lot of sensationalism around the amount of violence that's in there, but also there's quite a lot of nuance as well. And I think that's where the music really helps. In Squid Game, there's a lot and I mean a lot of mainly orchestral music so I'm going to list all the orchestral music tracks down below as well as links for those you know I had Barber's Adagio for strings at one point so there's very much a, there's a popular classical thread going through but there's also the undercurrent of more traditional instruments coupled with western sounds as well so I really felt it to be a really good mix of sounds as well because the themes evoked in the series are very much a human sense of emotion and things like that. But I did find a lot of the music in there really stuck with me and especially the three themes I've explored in the video today. I love when I discover new music and I love when I discover new programs as well. If you want to find out more and if you did have any questions that you want to ask then absolutely do so. I've got some live streams coming up and I'll be having them every couple of weeks so make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on those live streams and also my weekly videos. I want to thank once again Switcher Studio for are sponsoring this video their support is really really valuable and of course their app is absolutely fantastic links for the app down below if you want to make sure that you tap on bit.ly forward slash get switcher studio and make sure you use the code you in 30 you will get 30 days for free full featured app for you to be able to use all your ios devices to be able to create amazing videos as well thank you very much for watching this one make sure you're subscribed and i will see you in the next video bye for now